to the car function can be used when we need to remove unwanted characters from text from which we copied from another source, such as online, emails, etc. Here we have a table with places which we've copied from an email, but when pasted into the cell looks as follows. Now instead, we just want something that looks like Mexico City, comma, Mexico. We can do this by replacing the upside down question mark with a comma by using the substitute function. We also have to find the Unicode value for this upside down question mark. So if we do search in the link below, we will see that the Unicode value is 191. So let's use the substitute function. If we need to learn or review the substitute function, you can check out my video on this. This is in the description below as well. So we type in equal substitute, open parenthesis. What text do we want to search? We want to search in this cell, so we reference this cell. Next is what do we want to search for? Well, we want to search for the upside down question mark. So we type in car 0191 or car 191. What do we want to replace it with? We want to replace it with a comma followed by a space. So comma, space. We want to do this for all instances, so we omit the last parameter. We close the parenthesis. This is what we get. However, we don't want a line break, so we can replace the line break with nothing. The code for line break is 10, as we recall in example one. So let's use the substitute function again and replace the line break with nothing. So we type in equal substitute here, open parenthesis. Now the first parameter is the result we got from this substitute function. So we leave that as the first parameter, put a comma and move to the second parameter. We want to search for a line break and the second parameter is what we want to search for. So we type in car 10. The third parameter is what we want to replace it with and we want to replace it with nothing. So this is what we type in and we want to apply it to all instances. So we omit the last parameter, close the brackets and press enter. Let's apply it to the rest of the cells. Now we got the format that we like, which is just like this one. Let's delete this. Great. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this and hit the bell to get notifications of the latest videos out. See you in the next video.